What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install and use Waifu 2X on your computer. Laugh at the name all you want, it's an incredible upscaler for cartoon or drawn images, including normal vector art such as text, etc. I use it for a ton of different upscaling of logos and other pictures alike, as it just works so incredibly well. If you Google for Waifu 2X, you'll be taken across to one of the many websites, with this one being the original, where you can upload an image, scale it up, prove you're not a robot, convert, and download it. Pretty simple. But did you know you can actually download the software and push it even further using your own hardware and do a ton more without even having to confirm that you're a robot? Well, you probably didn't know that, but now you do. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Waifu 2X Cafe, or rather, Cafe. The page is being auto-translated from Japanese to English, thanks to Google Chrome. But anyways, this is the GitHub project page that you'll be looking at. On the right-hand side, you'll look for releases with this green little block next to it. You'll be clicking on this over here in just a moment to download the actual software. To read about it, scroll down on this page over here, and assuming you have some sort of translator built into your browser, you'll be able to read what's going on and what's happening. You require a 64-bit PC, at least one gig of RAM, an NVIDIA GPU with compute capability 3.5 or higher, not required when converting with CPU, Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable package update 3 64-bit version must be installed required. You can click this link over here to download the required runtime onto your computer, but more than likely you already have this. And because this page is in Japanese, you'll find the English link in the description down below. Anyways, when you click this latest version on the right hand side, you'll be taken across to this page over here. Scrolling down under the latest release, you'll find a bunch of blue links. You'll be clicking the first one, waifu2xcafe.zip. Upon downloading this, assuming you have NVIDIA drivers installed, or you're comfortable using CPU only, you're ready to get started. It is a 650 megabyte download, but that's because it comes with different AI models in it to upscale images. When it's done downloading, click on it to open it up and we'll be extracting it into a permanent home somewhere on our computer. Preferably don't leave this in your downloads folder as you may clear that periodically. For me, I won't leave it on my desktop either. I'll drop it into my documents folder over here. So drag it out of the zip into your say documents folder, let it extract and unpack into just about a gigabyte and then open up the folder we just extracted. Inside of this, you'll find wifi2xcafe.exe. Upon opening this up, you'll be presented with a simple UI. Basically, to use this, you'll be clicking the first browse button to choose an input file, and it'll automatically fill in the output file over here. Heading across to my downloads folder, you can see a bunch of images here. It works better for more drawn icons and things like that, even characters, cartoon characters, manga, etc, etc, much better than it does for actual images. So opening, say, a Microsoft Edge logo to upscale that, you'll see it fills in the output path over here. We can leave basically everything as is, but I usually change the 2D model all the way down to the bottom one. 2D illustration, CU net model. Choosing these other ones here can help you get different results and it's worth playing around with. Using the settings over here will change how it works with your graphics card, and the same goes for the left hand side. You can change it to denoise and magnify, magnify only, denoise only, magnify and auto denoise, choose a denoiser level, magnification size, etc. etc. I'll be denoising and magnifying level 0 denoise, magnification size 2x. So my image will then be 2x the size that I put it in. If it was 128 by 128, it'll be 256 by 256. Long story short, I'll hit start and let it go. Of course, the program will slightly freeze up here, but don't worry, it's running through the image and when it's eventually done, you can open up your downloads folder or wherever it's saved to. Inside of here, you'll see your original image, say 16 kilobytes, and the outputted file, say 55 kilobytes. Opening up both images side by side, you'll notice that one is two exercise as the other one. Zooming in quite a bit, you can see exactly the difference that's going on here. Of course, two times as many pixels, and for drawn illustrations, artwork, etc., it looks a hell of a lot better. We can push this even further. I'll set the magnification rate to, say, 8x. Start, and we'll leave it going. After it's run, I'll open up the new file, and zoom in once again. You can really see the difference now. It's actually quite crazy, and it works really well. Choosing the other models will get you different results, maybe less blurry and less breaky on some parts, 
but it's really just trying different things until you find what works for your particular image. But anyways, that's about it for this really simple crash course. There's not much else you'll need to change other than those few settings. You can of course run images through as many times as you want, but preferably only do it once for the least amount of added noise. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.